Onto a live look at Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater, where scientists are keeping an especially close eye on Kilauea's activity. No eruption is currently underway, but an especially high jump in earthquakes over the last several days has experts wondering what could happen next. Now, while lava hasn't cracked the surface, there's been a lot of movement underground, prompting USGS to raise the volcano's alert level. We spoke with scientist in charge Ken Hahn for a breakdown of Kilauea's rumblings. This time lapse shows the extent of the latest seismic spike stretching back to last Friday. USGS scientist in charge Ken Hahn says his team tracked 500 earthquakes in the first six hours. Since then, there have been over 3,000. We had field crews out who were reporting rock falls off of the south side of Halima'uma'u, felt a lot of earthquakes, heard a lot of noises, you know. So it really sounded like, you know, things were really primed. That's the kind of stuff that happens before an eruption. And then it shifted kind of back over to the south end of the caldera. Shockwaves stretching from Halima'uma'u along the southwest rift zone. Ahn describes it as an intrusion where magma is moving underground, shifting rock. I guess you can think of it like a deck of cards that you pull across. There's some space in there, but it's like on tiny fractures. And so when the magma comes in, it can kind of push all the rocks together like a deck of cards and make room for itself down there. So there's this compressible space is what we call it down there. Despite the jump in activity, Han says it's not an indicator that an eruption is imminent, and there are many factors in play. We're not really sure what it's going to do. We know magma is coming into the system and coming out and moving fairly shallowly beneath that entire region. So you have to have the pressure to push that upwards and out of the, the fractures and also push those fractures apart. You're right. So it's just this compressible space versus magmatic pressure versus surface weakness that's going on. And those are things that we can't possibly measure. And if lava does eventually break through, it seems it would remain within park boundaries. All the activity so far shows that any possible eruption will either be confined to the summit or an area out around the southwest rift zone of Kilauea. Unpopulated areas, no infrastructure out there. So we don't expect any impact on the surrounding communities. 